If you're asked to round a number off to two decimal places, then this means you only want two numbers after the decimal point. Uh, rounding to two decimal places is useful if you're doing money problems because all money is to the nearest penny or the nearest cent so you need to round it off to two decimal places. So let's take a look at example one. Uh, so we've got around this number 14.2837 to two decimal places. So we want two numbers after the decimal point in our answer. So one, two. So we're going to cut our number off here. Now we've got two possibilities now. It'll either be, our answer will be 14.28, that's if I round the number down, or 14.29 if I round the number up. So we need to decide which one it's closer to. To decide which one it's closest to, just look at the number after the line, which is a 3. Since that number is less than 5, we round the number down. So this number will stay as 14.28. Let's have a look at example 2. So again we've got to round it off to two decimal places. So we want two numbers after the decimal point. So 1, 2. So we're going to cut our number off there. So again your two possible answers are 6.15 or 6.16. So again look at your number after the, after the line. So again this number is a 4 which is less than 5. So that means we round the number down, so the number will stay the same as 6.15. So let's move on to example 3. So again, we're doing it to two decimal places, so two numbers after the decimal point. So two possibilities again are 7.12 if we round down, or 7.13 if we round up. So let's decide which one it's closest to. Just need to look after, at the first number after the line. This time it's a 6, so that's 5 or above, so we round the number up. So that means it's closest to 7.13. Let's move on to example 4. So this time we have 12.40518. So again, we're rounding it off to 2dp, so two numbers after the decimal point. So two options again are 12.40 if we round down or 12.41 if we round up. So just look at the number after the line. So that's a 5. If it's 5 or above you always round the number up. So our final answer will be 12.41. So one final example then. So this time we're looking at 3.24712. So again, two numbers after the decimal point we need. So if I round the number down, it'll be 3.24. If I round the number up, it'll be 3.25. So which one is it closest to? Just look at the number after the line. Since it's a 7, that's 5 or above. So we round our decimal upwards, so it's closer to 3.25.